Well, hey there, you're on the internet, I have some free time, and welcome to the Triple N Network, where all you newbie nib nerds can find all the news you'll need. Let's look at an ink today, shall we? Now, today's ink, I have in sample form. Uh, it's by Toucan, it's an Australian brand, and as of the filming of this video in very late February 2016, the only place this is available is Anderson Pens in the United States. Uh, I imagine in Australia you can find it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's turquoise. It is a very light blue. And uh, as it tends to be with turquoise, turquoise is turquoise. So the comparisons are plentiful. So let's check those out. Uh, here's Toucan Turquoise. Which you can see is fairly light and actually kind of... Uh, Thin. We'll get to that. Uh, then we have Ackermann's number 11, Trevis Turquoise. I just massacred that. As you can see, it's a little more blue. It's a little more green in it. Uh, my dogs are freaking out again. Diamond's Aqua Blue, which is also, which is just maybe a tiny bit darker and a little bit more blue. Schaefer Turquoise, again, tiny bit more dark, a little bit more blue. Private Reserve Daphne Blue, a little darker, a little more blue. Noodler's Navajo Turquoise, definitely darker, definitely more blue. And Pelican's 4001 Turquoise, a little darker, a little bit more blue. Yep. So the two pens I used were these, both Lamy Safaris. This one has an extra fine nib, and this one has a, come on, hmm. any day now, eh, close enough, 1.1 step. Now, I wanted to see what this ink could hold up against, and the answer is nothing, spoiler alert, but uh, water seriously broke it up, it is essentially gone, one third bleach solution destroyed it. Ammonia pen flush did much the same, and hydrogen peroxide destroyed it as well. Now, admittedly, my camera has a problem with blue. A lot of cameras do. I will try and make it as accurate as possible uh, in post or keep it from freaking out, but today it just wants to freak out. I don't know why. So, chromatography. Let's check this out. And as you can probably tell, it's very light. It's very thin. I mean, look at how like translucent the color is on that. You can practically see my finger through it. So, but yeah, this also reveals something we're gonna see about this ink. You see this through here, that light green. There's definitely some green in this turquoise, which I have always believed to be a part of green, a uh, part of the color turquoise. There's a, there's a hint of green in it. But yeah, as you can see, it flees from water and all the blue goes up to the top. Here's where I let it dry, which is not how you're supposed to do it. And there's just the teeniest bit of change. You can see there's like this barest little haze down at the bottom, and the green is far less noticeable. Now, paper test. Top down in density, Clairefontaine, 90 grams per square meter. Yeah. Uh, mm. I, I like turquoise. I like shading. Not like this. Um... Yeah, uh, God. Yeah, so there's a lot of shading, but it comes from it being so darn thin. Uh, so I'm going to bring it in. Here I laid it on super heavy, and you can start to see that green in it. You know, there's some slight aqua hints in there. But even there, you can see all the, even the tiny lines from the Sayas paper. And, I mean, the smear is practically translucent. I mean, you can see right through that. But anyways, the uh, extra fine took 8 seconds, the 1.1 took 14. And here you do notice that there is a bit of a halo around the wettest parts, which is nice. I rather enjoy that. Uh, I mean, it's well-behaved. There's no bleed, no feather, no spread, no echo, no sheen. But, I mean, as you can probably see from the camera, it's so light and so thin that in that extra fine, it's almost, it's almost unreadable. I mean, hmm. But yeah, and as the uh, water test, or the chromatography would reveal, 
It flees from water. That is completely gone. I don't know why just that part remained. I can't answer that, but. So next up is Fabriano paper, which I am coming to love and appreciate for all of the wonderful things it does for ink. But here you can see again, I mean, here it's just dot paper. And uh, this, I did like this. You can see in the scrubby where I laid it on really thick that not only do you get a halo, you get hints of aqua. But even here, in the wettest parts, you can see every single dot from this dot pad. And I mean, in the, the smeary little test thing, it's almost translucent. The writing is almost translucent. I wish there was more ink in this ink. And I, Toucan inks are meant to be mixed, but the thing is you can dilute ink. I mean, you can add like, you know, water, essentially. You can, you can thin it out, but you can't add more. And since these are already so thin, it, it, I'm having some issues with it. But anyways, uh, extra fine took nine seconds. The 1.1 took 14. You do see a halo effect in the writing, but I mean, look at this. That's, that's hard for me to read. It's just too light to comfortably read. The 1.1 is a bit better, in part because of that dark halo that comes out around the writing. But yeah. And as the chromatography hinted at, I mean, we can see the dots from the 1.1. Why is my camera freaking out today? Uh, from the 1.1, but pretty much everything else is gone. Next up is Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter. And uh, this is quadrilateral paper, or graph paper, as it is often referred to. This is my preferred type of paper, uh, because it, if left to my own devices, I'll like start writing in weird directions, and the dots are just not guidance enough. Uh, but, I mean, look at this. I mean, this is the heaviest part, where again, there's some hints of aqua, but you can see every single line. And this, this is a fairly light purple line. Oh god, look at the writing. Uh, I say here, like, this is a deal breaker. It's too light, it's too thin. I can see the purple of these lines, which are supposed to be, like, able to fade into the background, which usually it can, more than I can see this writing. In order to, like, focus enough to see this writing, I just, all I get is the purple coming out at me. It's just not, it's not enough. Uh, yeah, uh, you do get a halo effect, which does help make the 1.1 more readable. It's well behaved that there's no bleeding, no feather, no spread, no echo, no sheen, it's all good. But also the complete opposite of water resistance, that is utterly gone. In fact, the camera's picking that up just a tiny bit more. You can see the dots. But yeah, uh, yeah. Next up is Tumbleway River paper, which tends to bring out shading and sheen, and it most certainly did. We see a lot of shading on here, but it if anything, it highlights the thinness, the undersaturation. There's, I mean, look at how pale that is, how light that is. And we do get the tiniest bit of a, of a sheen. Why is my camera freaking the heck out? Uh, around the halo. And I like that we can see this hint of aqua through here. That is very nice. That was something I was constantly trying to bring out of this ink because I really enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, the extra fine took 12 seconds. The 1.1 took 20. This paper did draw out dry times a bit. And I wanted to catch the sheen and this halo so much that I almost put the ink right through the paper. But uh, that's human error. Yeah, the, you get a lot of shading, but it's, it just brings out how thin and light and, and watery this ink is. It's too, it's too thin for me. It's just too thin. But uh, yeah, and this paper loves to let ink slide away when you add more water, and that is most certainly what happened here. It is utterly gone. You can see the barest hints of those dots from the 1.1. Wait. Now for the next three tests, I only use the extra fine except to write the name. So here's 20 pound copier paper. It is still so light. Um, yeah, as, I hope you can see this. It takes on like a woolly texture. In the scrubby, there is no shading. You get Feathering it took one second to dry. It's it's really not good, and we got a good deal of bleed or near bleed. The camera doesn't want to pick it up because it's so light. The ink is already so light, and it's just it's not. See all that through there? But yeah, and then the water test. A lot of times these more absorbent papers will suck the ink in, make it harder to wash out. 
it's already so light that adding the littlest bit of water and it's it yes more remained but it feathered and exploded it's a mess it just looks like a light blue pool Oy. now next up is me notebook paper it's thinner than 20 pound copier paper it's cheap uh you can buy it in pharmacies and stuff yeah it um generally it outperforms the 20 pound copier paper i guess it kind of did there wasn't nearly as much spread but there was feathering but there's uh, almost no bleed. You have a couple spots where it almost comes through. But, uh, yeah, when we look at this, I mean, it's so light. It's so light. It's undersaturated. It's, mm, it, I don't, it, it hurts to read it. And now this water test, it feathered and exploded and it was so light as it is that even washing some of it away, it, it's essentially all gone. Lastly is moleskin notebook paper which is terrible and I hate it because it hates ink and I feel like you can already see that. Do you see that like wooly texture in the scrubby? Is it going to show up on camera? But yeah and then we get this awful feathering all throughout. It's really nasty looking and it's thin. It's, it's undersaturated. We don't really get any shading and I hope this comes through but we got bleeding all over. It rendered onto the page below in a couple spots. And look at that water test. It's just gone. I can't even read that and I wrote it. So, yeah, so there you go. There's a uh, Toucan's Turquoise. I like that it's a turquoise. It definitely has those hints of aqua in it. You know, the barest little hints of green. It is absolutely not water resistant because it looks like it's 95% water. It's so thin and it's so light and I, I couldn't, I, I, I can't use it. Me personally, I can't use it. But yeah, uh, if you want a light turquoise, uh, one with nice little hints of green, uh, halos a little bit, if you want shading, it shades a lot, definitely consider it. Uh, but yeah, so there you go for your consideration from the Triple N Network. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for watching. Bye.